we're gonna talk about highs and pitfalls, right? What do you say? What would your would be your top three highs in your career and your top three lows in your career? Hmm. I gotta say lows first, cause I always great to leave a conversation with the high. Um, top lows. Uh, I would say top low would be losing my world title against uh, Randy Couture. Um, putting on a t-shirt that says Dana's my bitch. And uh, being accused of um, assaulting my ex-girlfriend Jenna. That was completely false and proven in court. And I get flack from it all the time and it's the saddest thing in the world because one day my kids are going to read it. And they're gonna have to come to me. My oldest, he came to me and he goes, yeah, dad, I know the truth. And everybody that was in court that day, they know the truth. And I had to keep it shut, but I, I know the truth and I'm far from being that man. Now let's talk about the great things. Um, winning the world title in the UFC at the age of 23 years old after a year and a half of competition, being a world champion of something I had a dream. Um, Watching my son being born, Jacob, uh, was just like, wow. I'd say last week of watching the smiles on my boys, Jesse and Journey, of knowing that dad's doing a good job, of showing me the A's they have. I think those, are those I mean, this is the life, this is just not my career, this is my life. And my children are my legacy. And to watch him being born, to watch him mature into young men, to my oldest one almost being an adult, uh, it, it's the high point of my life. I love it. It's, it's, it's great. It can be, never be taken away. Every minute I cherish and every minute I'm grateful with him. And to come home after training or come home after work or come home um, after a long day, and sit on the couch and have him sit on each side of my shoulder and after school, after I pick him up from school and going, we love you, dad. How was your day? Those, those three things of being a world champion and having my children, my first child being born, to having my twin boys now, to being happy and the life I always wanted as a kid. The white picket fence with the happy mom and dad clothes in my bag, the lights turned on, food in the refrigerator, to have a normal life. My kids have that. They're living my dream through my hard work. And it all became from fighting. It came through hard work and dedication of being honest, being respected with integrity and consistency. Um, the structure worked and I'll continue to do it with my kids and I'm very thankful for my support of my family, support of my fans. Um, my girlfriend Amber changed my life seven years ago, and I never thought I could love and love again. And it, it, she changed me. And it, it's it's deep, but it's true. And I'm a transparent person. Um, I don't step anybody, get ahead. And I always respect every individual I'm with, as long as they give me the same type of respect. And uh, life's too short not to. You know, it's uh, just one of those things that. Uh, I'm an honest living man, honest, honest hard-working American, for sure. I dedicate myself to my family, I dedicate myself to my career, I dedicate myself to all my jobs every time. I go in 100% every time I do something. And at the end of the day, every day when I look in the mirror and I brush my teeth, I ask myself, have you helped somebody today? Motivating, inspiring, anything. And I can say yes each and every day that I go to bed.